Hello, this is Ken Guscott. In the previous part of the Down and Dirty Roster Printer series, I showed you the organization table. Organization can also be presented as a list, or sometimes you may need both. Open the D&D Roster Printer, selecting Complete Roster. From the, from the report type, uh, select Organization List and Organization Query. Sometimes the query will open automatically, but sometimes it doesn't. The Down and Dirty Roster Printer works entirely from queries. Sometimes these queries are just in the background and you need not define them, but other times it is necessary to define what it is you need. The query has several parts. In level, you select the squadron, district, national, all of them, or combinations of these. In department, you can select all departments or individual departments. If you select a department, then from committees, you can select all committees or individual com committees that are associated with that department. However, if in department you select all departments, then committees by default become all committees. Order by selects the way in which the list will be organized, um, which records come first, second, third, and so on. The list can be by the member's names, last and first, or by the position the member occupies, followed by the committee he serves on, listed in alphabetical order, and then the last and first names, or by the committee by department. In other words, the departments will be listed uh, one by the other. And uh, by level, member last first, or by level, position, committee, in alphabetical order. In other words, there are lots and lots of options here on how the list will be ordered. Uh, some of these at the end, which contain a squadron number, are primarily intended for district directories, and we might talk about those a little bit later. Finally, you can select the positions that you want to have on your list, and it can be all positions or individual positions on a committee. So let us define our list for illustrative purposes. Uh, in level, let's, suggest, let's select just squadron. In department, we will select all departments, giving us our default for all committees. In the uh, order by, we will select level, committee by department, the position on the committee, last and first names. And we will have all positions. And now we can select OK and return to the uh, down and dirty printer roster itself. The uh, next thing to do is to add the data. The first thing, probably the name. And uh, we can select the format of the name from the drop-down list. And for our purpose here, last, first, and grade is probably totally adequate. We add that. Next, we go to our database fields. and. In the um, organization list mode, the department, committee, and position are included in the field list. And to make them easier to find, they are grouped at the uh, top of the list. So let's pick department and add. And then we can pick committee and add. And then we can pick position and add. If this is all we need, we can next uh, put in a subheader and label the columns. Going down to our list header area, we'll check that we want a uh, header in bold and a slightly larger font, and we will call it Squadron Organization. Next, we need to label the column headers, so we go down and check that we want to label column headers. And we will have them bold and we will have them underlined, and our first one will be called member.
and you can see that it has been added to the head of the column. We'll just zoom in on that a little bit so we can see it better. The next column is the department. And so we add that. And we can see that at the head of our column. The next, de the next column we can call our committee. Or it could also be office for individual office holders. Moving over. And finally, in our last column, we will just put position. And here it is. So now we have an organization list, uh, which is uh, basically equivalent to the organization table, except that it is presented in a different format. Zooming out, we can see that we have, in fact, three pages of this information. So, the next thing to do is, as we did before, add the uh, information to make the page look like the other pages in our roster. So we need a header and uh, paste in <coughs> Anna Maria Island Power Squadron. We need the line separator and it was bold and a larger font. In footer we had called it roster to 10 and we had a line separator we had a date of 04 2010 and we had page numbers now the page numbering you're going to have to adjust that to put the pages in whatever order you need them in finally um, that can be adjusted at any time even if you recall the page from memory you can um, make changes to it before you print it. So this illustrates an organization list. Before we turn, return to the main screen we should save it. So this one we will call org list and save and now we can return to the main screen.